This right here is a GoPro Hero 5. Today we're gonna put this in the center of a car tire and spin it really, really fast and see what kind of crazy images we can get. How crazy you might be asking? Let me show you. Here it is. So this is a GoPro that's spinning really, really quickly. It's going all crazy. And at a certain point it starts like syncing up with itself. Like almost to the point that like the spinning rate matches the rolling shutter rate. So you can actually end up seeing, kind of like how when you're going down a freeway and the tires look like they're going backwards. It's just syncing up with the refresh rate of your eyeballs. This is a raw image from the camera, not edited after the fact. This is exactly how the camera captured it. Bah! Big. <laughs> it comes over and is like, what's this? The reason why you're getting this really crazy weird artifact here is this effect known as rolling shutter. Destin from Smarter Every Day has a fantastic video explaining what this artifact is and how sensors work. But basically, you have a video and it's say 30 frames per second. Well, one of those frames is also recorded over the course of time from the top to the bottom. A single frame from a video is actually recorded from the top and then like a millisecond goes by, it records a little bit more, another millisecond goes by, records a little bit more, and then over a few millisecond seconds it records the entire image. That is so fast that for most of the time it appears like a solid static image. But if you have something that's spinning really really quickly it like rotates through that and it creates these really weird artifacts as you can see in Dustin's video. What I wanted to do today was figure out how we can recreate this sort of super fast spinning and see if we can get any sort of artifacts similar to what we're seeing in this video. So in the past we have done some pretty crazy rigs. The GoPro and a Canon the GoPro on a sword videos. But today, I specifically wanna do something jankier and quicker. Probably just gonna put this in a case and gaff tape it to your car tire. Isn't that gonna be a problem when we start going really fast? I hope not, I mean, maybe. Mm -hmm. Do you have hubcaps or wheels? What do you mean? There's a difference. I, I don't know. If you have nice wheels, you don't need hubcaps. I guess we'll go see. Right. We we'll wanna do the, uh, the back tire. Whoa, that's the big one, it's the A380. That's a big airplane. Billy, you like airplanes? I like airplanes, that's a big one. What kind of food do you like to eat on airplanes, Billy? I think I'm gonna try to shoot 2.7K at 30 frames per second. For it to be perfectly centered for the, the lens, it needs to mount right there. Okay, you ready? No return after this. Why is sticky stuff so sticky? Yeah, you peel it off and then uh, stick it onto the... What, wait, how do, how do I do that? Wow, I'm a tape master. I built an entire two-story fort out of cardboard using just tape. Ren, I've been taping since day one. Right? Dude, I was taping since before you were born. You can't beat that. If the sticky part fails, will this tape be enough to hold it there? This GoPro? Yeah, man. GoPro on a tire. You oh, you saw oh, GoPro yeah. on an arrow? Yeah. <laughs> That's not coming off. That is excellently taped on. You're not relying on the stickiness, you're relying on the strength of the tape. Yeah, we can talk about tape all day or we can take it to the streets. Wait, can I go wash my hands real quick? No. Tape in here. <laughs> is this on tape? This guy over here. Part of me is kind of worried, but the other part of me is like, no, my tape job is flawless. And once you've done a full rotation, you have officially gone 80.7 inches. I'm trying going 7.6 miles an hour because that's exactly 100 RPM. The closest I can do is just keep it right in between 5 and 10, which is basically 7.6. Oh, what's up, man? Welcome to the seat. Should we bring Street Meat Guy to do these experiments with us? It's a dude carrying a grill down our street wearing a robe. Are you gonna grill some food? Thanks, man. Yeah. Oh, good time. <laughs> wow. Thank you. No! Oh, yeah. 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 Should we experiment with Street Meat Guy? <laughs> we put a GoPro on the tire. Oh, I noticed that. That was like a little thing that was jumping out over there, huh? 15 miles an hour. Alright, and the GoPro is still there. We're still good. So we haven't lost the GoPro yet. <laughs> Ah, no. No! See how fast you can go. Just get as much speed as you can. Fly off the bridge. Do it, Nick! Move faster! This is 60. Faster! Go faster! Woo! Go going too fast, man! I'm going too fast! So at 60 miles an hour, that was 785 revolutions okay. per okay. minute. So we got up to 785 RPM on the GoPro, but we want to hit a thousand. First, let's review the footage. You comfy? I could fall asleep. I can live here. Great! In this position. <laughs> I have to go to the bathroom. We're about to watch some footage that could trigger epileptic people into a seizure, so. Or anyone. Whoa, that's a, that's, that's a pretty so cool. Effect. You're literally wow. just, this is, this is at 100 RPM, because you're going 10 miles an hour? Yeah. I can't yeah, look at, I can't, gonna... I can't look at this. <laughs> this hurts. It's gonna be some floor meat. And then. Whoa, did you see that? Yeah. Did you see that? It was like, ready? Okay, now we're on the bridge. This is when you're picking up yeah. the most speed. Yeah. It's like a 
It's, it's, like so it's working! It's, it's working! working. It's we're forming it into almost one plane. We need to go faster though. We don't know how fast we have to go for it to sync up because we don't actually know the- 88 miles an hour. Well, well, but we can go out on the highway and try to go as fast as we can. <laughs> <laughs> I mean- We'll see what happens. This is phase two. We did a first test which actually worked out really well. Once we got up to like 60 miles an hour, something strange happened and we want to see if we can recreate that. That means we got to go a little bit faster. <laughs> We're gonna go the speed limit. I don't know what that speed is. I mean, here in LA, you can go like 85 miles an hour without being worried about getting pulled over. That's just a Los Angeles fact. We're about to go right up to the speed limit and no faster. I'm gonna do the test. Wait, come on, come on, oh, ooh. It is rolling. What speed are we at? What We're speed at are we 70. at? Hold it, dude, don't put that in front of my face. Okay, now try to hold at 70. Okay. Just like cruise at 70. Yep. We got our data, Nick. So oh. you, you held it going 80 for a bit, and then you managed to get it up to 90 for a little while. 65. 65. What I'm hoping is that we actually reach a level of harmonization with the frame rate and the spinning speed. Fire truck? So I'm hoping that we'll get some stabilization in the camera itself. Oh yeah, dude. Set you one. Yeah, he did. I was no longer jealous. I'm gonna get sick. It only makes you sick when your eyes can somewhat track it, aka if you're going slow enough. At faster speeds, you can't track it. Come on, let's press on. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Interesting image. Oh, it's starting to go the other way again. But yeah, you see how crazy that curve is? That's because of the rolling shutter. Whoa, whoa. Okay, we're getting up speed. <gasps> oh. Something's happening. Something's happening. Oh, almost. Oh, it's stabilized. How oh, fast was that? It. So 70 was, what is this? Look at that. It captured part of the ground in the one frame at the top. But then by the time we got down to halfway through the frame, crazy. it was now recording it at the bottom. Whoa. Dude, you're seeing the truck upside down and right side up in the same image. Whoa. Whoa! What was that? What was that? Oh, the wheel! What was that? The wheel. This is so weird and cool. Oh, it's a freaking headache, dude. Okay. Oh, okay, now it's. Huh. Okay. 1047, 785, 916 RPM. That's the speed at which you need to spin the GoPro for the rolling shutter to sync up with the horizon. I was hoping that we'd get a perfectly like every frame is like say every frame the ground is here. If that's the case, you'd have to be going 140 miles an hour. So it's like every other frame is the ground. Perfectly. Because it's like, it syncs up right here. You can see the spinning of the horizon start to slow down and then it's stuck right here. But we're still getting the flashes back and forth. Let's play through it at normal speed. This is normal speed. It's a little too jarring here at normal speed, but playing it at fast forwarded speed, because it matches up. When you're playing at fast forward speed, it's dropping that one frame. So in theory, it should get pretty smooth, and it does, it does get smooth. So you don't have to go 140 miles an hour, you just have to double the speed of the footage. It's so cool. Yeah, this is, this is way cooler at 2x speed than yeah. 1x speed. That is that, yeah, that is, that is so sweet. Dude, yes. Oh, oh.